it's Hope for Behind the Gloves. I'm now joined by Ebony Bridges. Big fight tomorrow. How are you feeling? Feeling great. You know, obviously refueled now, you know, um, rehydrated and... Um, you know, tomorrow means business. So we've got all the fun stuff out of the way and now it's, um, now it's business tomorrow. How are you going to get in that mental state for tomorrow? I mean, I've been in a mental state. Like, it's, it's, it's all camp, you know, um, for me. I just, you know, I've been visualising and I'm manifesting this and um, I'm so confident about this fight and I feel really good. So, yeah. Training with Mark Tibbs, you've moved here. Big, big changes for you. How has that time been with him? Yeah, it's been amazing. Um, you know, like I've said it in a few, few, for a bit now, um, it's probably the best camp that I've had. I mean, not probably, it is the best camp that I've had. Um, obviously training with Mark and um, and just being settled in the, in the country, you know what I mean, rather than jet setting around the world, every camp. Specifically for this fight with Roman, how have you prepared? Have you kind of developed new skills or changed tactics? Yeah, I mean, I'm always developing, I'm always learning. Um, but yeah, definitely with Mark, you know, I'm, we're working on, you know, other things. Um, but just really polishing and tr- fine-tuning everything. Because, you know, I have it all, I have the attributes, um, but it just all needs polishing, you know what I mean? Um, and that's what we really did and just um, focused on certain things that we need to do as well. Um, but it's always going to be, I'm still going to be a blonde bomber, always going to be the same. Um, as in, you know, I have my style, I'm aggressive, I'm a strong, aggressive um, fighter and um, you can't really take that away from me. I'm not going to start boxing around like Sugar Ray, you know what I mean? So, I mean, um, but it's just going to be more polished and um, everything's just going to be better. Out of her skill sets, because she does look quite fierce, doesn't yeah. she, in the face-off, it's very fierce. What are you kind of, not worried about, but what do you think she has the power to do? Obviously, you'll stop her, but yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 of course. I mean, you can look as fierce as you want in a face-off. I smile mm. and I still knock bitches out. So <laughs> that's fine. You know, she can look as fierce as she wants. But um, no, do you know what she has is she has a little world of experience. You know what I mean? Um, she's been the, uh, the longest reigning champion in the division. She's um, defended the belt already seven times. Um, so she's coming in with a lot of experience. And, um, and um, you know, she's well-rounded as a boxer. She, she can do everything, you know, as well. She can sit and trade and she can box and she can do everything. So I look at it to be like a real um, kind of, not, not a seesaw kind of fight, but we're, we're, I think it's going to be a very um, good fight for boxing fans because I think um, it's going to be a bit of everything, you know, and I'm prepared for that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, she's, she's a bit older. Um, she's had a lot more fights than me, you know. She had, like, 25 fights, I think, and um, it's my ninth fight. So she's a lot more wear and tear as well. So I'm, you know, looking at her age and just the, her wear and tear, and I'm fresh, I'm younger, um, stronger. Um, so, yeah, I think that's going to be um, a big uh, positive for me. You mentioned the fans there. Are you excited to be in Lee Stadium tomorrow? Yeah, I'm always excited to be in Leeds. Um, you know, even just walking around the street, went for a walk now, like everyone is coming up and saying good luck to me and like just, you know, I love this city and um, and I can't wait to fight in front of all the fans again. It's amazing. Um, and to be co-main, it's going to be it's gonna be epic. I just can't wait. Are you planning for it to go the full stretch of the fight or do you want to end it early? Oh, of course, I'd love to end it early. You know, I'd love to have an early night and go out and I'm <laughs> celebrating with my belt for sure. Um, but um, I am prepared for to go the rounds. You know, we're prepared. We, pre- we always prepare to go the distance. I don't go looking for knockouts, but I do believe that I can break it down and knock her out. I do believe that. Um, but I'm not holding my breath on it um, and I'm not trying to go for the knockout. Um, but I, I think if anyone can do it, I can do it. A lot of people saying you need to be close with her and you need to have fast feet. Would that be a fair assessment? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Because, you know, she likes to box. And, and I mean, everyone that I fight, you know, um, even if they are the come forward fighters, they all end up going on, getting on their bike and running around the ring. Um, so, I mean, in general, even not with her, I just needed to improve my feet. I need to get faster feet um, because I'm good once I'm in there, but I need to make sure I can get there. And she is experienced and she's slick. So, um, yeah, the feet are a huge, a huge thing and um, just put the pressure on her because, um, you know, if she's running around, I can't hit her, then I can't break it down, you know what I mean? So um, I'm definitely going to have to use my feet. I have to move my head and I'm going to have to really, you know, break her heart. Let's say you get the W tomorrow. How will you celebrate on Sunday morning? I'm not sure. Hey, um, all I'm thinking about is that fight. Um, and once I've got that belt, then we'll discuss. Then I'll figure out what I'm doing next. If I'm going out, if I'm going to my room, they're going, fuck, I need to sleep. Like, <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, I honestly have no idea. But hopefully I would like to celebrate and, and um, you know, get to give my close friends. I've got a lot of close friends here that are like family. Um, I have my sponsors, um, Rich, uh, Riching Boxing, Rich's Boxing, who's come over from Australia. So it's incredible, you know what I mean, to have, have all that support. Um, so hopefully I do feel like celebrating, but... Going past experiences, I generally fight and then say, okay, see you guys and backdoor it. But um, this is a world title fight and I will have a belt, so it could change. But yeah, if, um, if I know where I'm going and there's an after party, I'll be putting it out on Twitter and you can all come. Ebony, thank you so much for your time. Right. Best of luck tomorrow. Thanks, Hope. Appreciate it.
Hey, Fight fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking this icon right here and hit the bell button below so that you can receive an alert every time we upload a new video.